educational assistant and I uh, work in the Academic Resource Center where I mostly help students with their math. The math lab is just open to all of you know, West students basically throughout any time of the day. You can come here before school, after school, or anytime during school and I'm, I'm here to help uh, you guys do better at your math. Yeah, I see all different kinds of students every single day. You know, you probably think it would just be students that really, really need lots of help, but basically, um, I would say actually the majority of students I help are doing pretty good in math. They're doing okay, they just need a little extra help. I would, a lot of the students I help with are in calculus, so I would say they're more in advanced. But I mean, I do see a lot of algebra and geometry, but a lot of calculus students. Um, the biggest tips would be like if you are, if you think of yourself as a person who struggles in math, just really work on the fundamentals of algebra. Be able to solve equations, like even simple equations. Um, if, you can, if you can do algebra well, that's gonna carry you over into all the different maths that are out there. Big part of why students struggle in math is at some point through their schooling, they've convinced themselves that they're not a math person or they're just not good at it. Um, what would help out a lot is having a growth mindset and knowing that if you put the time and energy into studying math or into or into getting better at it, you can you can get you can get a lot better at math. It, growth mindset very important. I may have a job um, um, studying applied mathematics for the government, so we'll see. Uh, for the students, um, study for math. If you need help, come see me. And uh, for the teachers, it's almost over. Just hang in there. <laughs>